question to think on for just a minute. How important, how important really is gratitude in your daily life? Sure, we pause to say thank you, but have you, do you really believe in gratitude as a power? You could say this month we're stepping out to test that claim. I love pretty papers. I love stylish stationery, but I'm not just a collector. I believe in the power of gratitude to spread goodness. And I frequently try to put my own appreciation onto paper and send out those thank you cards. It's a practice I do professionally. In fact, this was first demonstrated to me by my good friend and colleague, Alex Cabrera. I remember when I was an intern in the KSL newsroom and I was shadowing Alex on this particular day. And news reporters have about an hour of time from when they filed their story to when they had to go on air. And during that gap hour, Alex would sit at his desk and he would pull out a thank you card and a pen and he would thank, put to paper that thanks for anyone, to anyone who had helped him that day on his story. And I remember him telling me, yeah, it may be their job to put out that information, it may be their job to support the media, but they made my job easier. And for that reason, I give them thanks. And that lesson was not lost on me. In fact, a couple months later, I was the one doing the interviews. And on one particular day, I was interviewing a politician, a well-known politician who had, shall we say, a reputation for being a little hard-nosed, a little difficult sometimes. At the end of that day, I wrote a thank you card to this individual, um, expressing my appreciation that they had taken time out of their day to help me do my job, to help me tell my story. Well, a couple of days later, I was sitting at my desk and the phone rang, and it was this politician. And uh, I, I got a little nervous, my mouth went dry, and my heart started to pound. I was thinking, did I do anything wrong? Did I make a mistake? Was it a misspelling, a misquote? But that person just proceeded to thank me for that thank you card. They said in all of their many years of public service and in working with the media, they had never, ever received a handwritten thank you card. And they told me if I ever needed an interview again, they would open the door for me. And that was huge. That was a that was a powerful example of the power of gratitude. Personally, I have many examples of this this power of gratitude as well. My mom is is famous for her thank you cards. In fact, it's really common to open up the mailbox and to get a thank you card from my mom just because, or to get a thank you text after stopping by uh, for Sunday dinner. And I love that example because I think so often we reserve um, formal expressions of gratitude for people we think are important or for people we want to impress. But why shouldn't we stop to formally thank and express appreciation and love to the people that we do love the very most, who we interact with on a daily basis? Why shouldn't we stop to thank those people as well? So I am really excited for the Studio 5 Thank You Chain campaign because I think gratitude, much like a smile or a sneeze, gratitude is one of those things that's contagious. And if you throw those thank you seeds out there, you never know just how far it will grow. So just how far will those seeds of gratitude spread? Well, we are prepared to find out. As you just heard, this week we are going to start a thank you chain. So basically we are setting out to write the longest, loudest thank you note ever. Here's how it's going to work. We've identified three community leaders and influencers and asked those three individuals to put pen to paper and simply write a thank you note. We're going to track that note as it passes hands and pick up with the recipient. And from there, we'll see how that person chooses to fuel forward the challenge and so on and so on. We're really excited to see how far and where this goes. I'm going to start our first chain right here and right now. So I have written a thank you note to someone I admire. This is going to Heather Johnson. Now many of you know Heather. Heather is our newest Studio 5 contributor, but she is someone I have looked up to and listened to for a long time now. In fact, I consider myself still somewhat of a newer mom. I've been interviewing Heather, talking to Heather about parenting for so many years, long before I ever was a mother. And now when I'm on the ground in those mothering moments, I find her advice really resonates in my mind and in my heart. She really has shaped who I am personally as a mom. So here is my thank you note. I'll send this out later today. Heather will be getting this here in a couple of days. This is the beginning of one of our three Studio 5 thank you chains. We'll be revealing who the other two chain starters are tomorrow and Wednesday. And from there, game on. We'll check in over the next couple of weeks and see exactly where this gratitude line goes, how it spreads, and hopefully pick up on some really inspiring relationships and stories along the way. We're also making it possible for you at home to join this thank you chain on our website you can download a beautiful thank you card designed by one of our good friends Natalie Malin you can print that off or we'll be posting here in a couple days a list of print shops across the state who are linking arms with us and you'll be able to pop into a local print shop near you grab a card put pen to paper and spread your own gratitude along with us this month we hope you will it should be a lot of fun